Guys, good day. We'll be talking about uh, venous drainage of the testes. I'll be talking about um, testes will have varicocele, uh, but um, won't be hitting more on the testes will have varicocele, but I'll give you guys an overview, okay? Because I have a different video on testes will have varicocele that I'd like to actually hammer more and give reasons why testes will have varicocele actually occurs on the left side more than the right, okay? So for this, we'll be hammering more on the venous drainage of the testes is via the ampiniform plexus. So discuss the venous drainage of the testis and testicular varicocele. Okay? So you can see this is like arterial supply of the testis. This is the venous drainage of the testis. And the venous drainage of the testis is what we'll be focusing on. All right? I'd like you guys to know the pampiniform plexus. So numerous veins drain from the testis at the, media, at the mediastinum to a complex plexus of veins called the pampiniform venous plexus which is situated superiorly, all right? So the venous plexus anastomose to become one testicular vein at the upper end of the inguinal canal, all right? So the right testicular vein drains into the inferior venal cava while the left testicular vein drains into the left renal vein, all right? So what I'm trying to tell you is, um, can you see so many veins coming together to form one vein, okay? And this is the inguinal line okay then can you see that this right side is draining right into the inferior vena cava this left side is draining into the left testicular vein have you understood the picture now all right so go back and watch this video from beginning again you will follow me more you can even draw this down okay so testicular varicocele is produced by dilatation of the veins of the pampiniform plexus that drain the testis okay so it is a major disorder found in adolescents and young adults, okay? So majority of it occurs on the left side, All right? So now coming back here just to give you guys reasons why uh, testicular varicose occurs on the left. Uh, can you see that um, this, this uh, left testicular vein is opening, what, 90 degrees, okay? And it's opening to, into a high pressured left renal vein okay while this right testicular vein is opening into a bigger vein therefore less pressure okay that's one reason pressure on the left side is greater than the uh, the, uh, the right side okay then can you see that this uh, left testicle is lower than the right testicle thereby the right um the, the left testicular vein is longer than the right testicular vein okay there's so many other, uh, so many other, um, this thing, um, reasons, okay? So if you want to actually, uh, check it out, just, uh, please, um, go to my videos, go to the playlist on pelvis anatomy and check in it. You see testicular varicose and reasons why it occurs mostly on the left, okay? So that's it about everything you guys need to know about the venous draining of the testis and testicular var varicose. Okay, so see you guys in the next one and bye for now.